What's up, it's Kate from Marvelous Videos, and today we look at the 15 best vampire television series. You cannot call yourself a true fan of the fantasy genre if you don't have vampires topping your list. Come on now, we all know vampires have been a real fascination, especially in the pop culture lore. Right from books being written about them to later being turned into thrilling movies as well as enthralling TV series, vampires have come a long way with an intriguing storyline out there for every taste. Having said that, they have evolved in their own ways. Well, for starters, garlic's a myth, but staking them through the heart isn't. They are fast, and when we say fast, we mean super fast, stressing on the term super, which is also applicable on them being strong, active, and drop-dead gorgeous to look at. While there are some who can't go out during the day, some walk around like they just don't care. Okay, not really, the latter usually have daylight rings to protect them. However, their diet seems to be pretty much the same since one can remember, human blood to be more precise. So gear yourselves up for today's video where we will be taking you through 15 fantastic vampire television series for you to sink your teeth into. Are you ready? Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Castlevania 2017 to 2021. A recipient of a BTVA People's Choice Voice Acting Award, a Golden Trailer Award, and an IGN Award, Warren Ellis' Castlevania is based on the third Castlevania video game, produced for the Nintendo Entertainment System, called Castlevania III Dracula's Curse. Boasting a current IMDb rating of 8.3, this first anime Netflix original series has been a critical as well as a wide commercial success, and a sheer delight for every fan out there who is both into fantasy and animation. After the beloved human wife of Count Vlad Dracula Tepes is falsely accused of witchcraft and burnt at the stake, Dracula declares war against humanity. Holding every single human responsible for the tragic death of his wife Lisa, Dracula, driven by romantic rage, unleashes a horde of demonic creatures from hell to wipe out the sole existence of the people of Wallachie. Now it is up to the last surviving member of the Belmont clan, an excommunicated family of monster hunters, Trevor Belmont, to take matters in his hands and engage in a battle against the Lord of Vampires and his army of hell. He is joined by Dracula's Dampier son Alucard and magician Cypher Belnats in the process. Developed by Adi Shankar, Castlevania has on offer four seasons with 32 extremely compelling episodes, and it's safe to say that with every season, the anime series just gets better and better. While originally it did start off as a loose adaptation of the video game series, it soon leaped into a world of its own, one filled with the darkest of villains, an unforgettable cast of heroes, a marvellous work of animation, and a promising storyline, along with a gracious amount of blood and gore of course. It is a pity that it only has four seasons, something that was clearly not enough for fans of the Vampire series. Those who are planning to watch Castlevania can head straight to Netflix, and trust us when we tell you that you just cannot go wrong with this one. The Strain 2014-2017 Created by the celebrated duo Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan, this American horror drama television series is based on the pair's vampire horror novel trilogy, also titled The Strain. The series spanned across four seasons, generating 46 captivating episodes over the course of time. Still boasting a current IMDb rating of 7.3, The Strain has been a recipient of three very exciting awards and 27 nominations. In terms of the storyline, it revolves around Dr. Ephraim Goodweather, the head of the CDC Canary team in New York City, who is called to probe deeper into a Boeing 767 landing, one that has everyone mysteriously dead on board. Oh my god. They're all dead. What is it, F? What his response team discovers is a strange viral outbreak that has some kind of a connection with an ancient evil strain of vampirism. Very soon, the virus starts spreading, and Dr. Goodweather is joined by Abraham Satrakian, a survivor of the Holocaust along with a miscellaneous group of fighters to save what's left of humanity. Now that we have your full attention, please note that the creatures on display here aren't your typical vampires. They are addressed as Striegel. While some of you may have seen Guillermo del Toro's 2002 superhero horror flick Blade 2, 
and you might say that the creatures in the series bear a striking resemblance to the Reapers in that movie. Yes, that is true, and they are to an extent similar, but the Strigoi happens to be Guillermo del Toro's original concept. When the acclaimed Mexican director had first taken an interest in writing at a very young age, he had shaped vampires as horrendous, parasitic creatures, having on display leech-like appendages. But he conceptualised this version many years ago, in fact way before Blade 2 or even The Strain for that matter. But he made sure that his original concept of vampires was featured in the television series. And for those of you who are wondering if the term Strigoi holds any meaning in real life, well, it does. Strigoi is a real Roman word that refers to disturbed spirits who rise from their graves and then desire to drain the blood of their victims. Spooky, right? I mean, come on, it's Guillermo del Toro that we're talking about. We highly recommend that you give this series a definite shot. And if you're wondering where, just head straight to Hulu and you'll find it there. Penny Dreadful, 2014 to 2016. Well, 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 what do we have up next? A horror drama television series that is a recipient of 16 remarkable wins and 91 nominations, which, by the way, also includes 13 primetime Emmys. Yes, we are talking about Penny Dreadful, which still holds a current IMDb rating of 8.2 and boasts a riveting list of 27 episodes across three seasons. To those that are wondering what's the big deal about Penny Dreadful, here, let us help you out a little bit. How about we engross you to watch a TV series that isn't just about regular vampires, but also has on display intertwining tales of Frankenstein, the Devil, Count Dracula, and the artistic Dorian Gray. That's not all. You see, the setting is very important too. So now imagine all of that against a backdrop of Victorian London. You're getting the picture now. Created by John Logan, the series successfully took the macabre to greater heights, with a plethora of engrossing characters. You know you're in for a rollercoaster ride when you have renowned names like Eva Green, Timothy Dalton, Reeve Carney, Billy Piper, Harry Treadaway, and Josh Harnett in the leading roles. It just goes without saying that the cast is simply outstanding, and the series does a brilliant job in unfolding its characters especially their relationships and how it affects every individual. There are no second thoughts about Penny Dreadful being wildly entertaining, and anyone who is on the lookout for some good drama is bound to not be disappointed. It delivers what it promises, and it has our vote. Haven't seen it yet? Just stream it on Netflix. The Originals 2013-2018 if you grew up watching Julie Plex supernatural teen drama TV series The Vampire Diaries like me, you simply have no reason not to like its direct spin-off. Every TVD fan out there knows who the Michelsons are. In case you're new to it, the Michelsons are the very first line of vampires, the originals to be more precise, and it's from them that every vampire that's currently breathing, or technically not breathing, is a direct descendant of. Doesn't this solely make the whole premise interesting? As far as the plotline is concerned, it principally revolves around three of the Michelson siblings, Klaus, Elijah, and Rebecca, returning back to New Orleans to re-establish themselves as the ruling family once again. Would you believe us if we told you that the character of Klaus Michelson was initially meant to die in The Vampire Diaries, the series where he first made his appearance? But then we all know how popular his character became, and the swelling admiration for his character eventually earned him a green signal, along with a mind-blowing spin-off show. Also created by Julie Pleck, the series went ahead with five incredible seasons, generating 92 episodes. A recipient of one primetime Emmy nomination, amongst others, the original maintains an IMDb rating of 8.2 till this very day. We at Marvelous Videos would definitely urge you to watch the parent series before giving this a shot, but then again, it's totally up to you. Both are available on Netflix, so the choice is yours. Dracula 2020. If only every count on display looked this good. Are we deviating? Yes, we are, because Danish actor Cleese Bang does complete justice to his portrayal as the titular character. 
leaving every woman out there with a little bit of drool on the side. Based on Bram Stoker's 1897 celebrated novel, Dracula the television miniseries comprises three episodes. And believe us, this did the trick and worked in favour of the series. This particular version of Dracula might not please everyone, especially the ones with a different taste. You have a fair idea of what the story is going to be, at least that's how it starts off, but then it gets radically different from its source material. You are bound to ask yourself questions because what's in front of you isn't a conventional Dracula story anymore. You do have the King of Horror, Stephen King, in favour of the series, so you know that you're in for a real treat. Full credits to creators Mark Gatiss and Stephen Moffat for being so brilliant at breaking down the norms of a classic story and whipping up a completely refreshing new story for a new generation. The 2020 drama horror TV series has surprisingly good pacing given that the show only has three episodes to make an impression. The ending will leave you wanting more and in a good way. Conclusively, one of the finest versions of Dracula. This deserves your time and attention. Do make sure to add this series to your Netflix watch list by the end of this video. V Wars 2019 Based on New York Times best-selling author Jonathan Marbury's eponymous anthology series and comic book, the series is bound to take one on a non-stop thrill ride of action, horror and suspense, all set against the backdrop of a very intriguing storyline. Before your thoughts go wild, let's be clear on one thing. As much as this story is about vampires, the series here is certainly not about biting and repopulating. V Wars is a lot more than that, having on display a rather unique perspective. The 2019 series has a doctor set at variance with his best friend, when a particular virus transforms the latter into a deadly predator, or in other words, you guessed it, a vampire. No wonder the disease starts spreading like wildfire, aiming at those who have the certain gene mutation in their DNA. Well, of course, this leads to a visible division in the society. The doctor literally races against time to not only find a cure, but also comprehend what and why is happening, and his best friend eventually emerges as a supreme leader of the vampire sect. In case you didn't know, the character of Dr. Luther Swan is played by none other than the dashing Ian Summerhalder. and would you believe us if we told you that Ian had passed on the project multiple times? Well, back then, he had just completed The Vampire Diaries, and eight years is a long time to process, even for Ian Sommelhalder. No wonder he chose to read the books that the show is based on to decide whether to give it a shot or not. The fact that he was blown away by the story shows when he finally took on the role. Well, if you didn't get enough of him in The Vampire Diaries, here's your chance again. You can catch this talented hot bod right away on Netflix. The Vampire Diaries 2009-2017 to Okay, so what can possibly be better than two vampire brothers looking great getting caught in the middle of a torrid love triangle just like history would have wanted them to? Well that's exactly what the storyline of Julie Plegg and Kevin Williamson's supernatural teen drama TV series is all about. A recipient of four People's Choice Awards amongst 37 deserving wins and 67 nominations, the Vampire Diaries still brags a current IMDb rating of 7.7. .7. Based on LJ Smith's young adult fiction series, also titled The Vampire Diaries, the series here spanned across eight seasons, eventually generating 171 gripping episodes. Starring Nina Dobrev, Paul Wesley and Ian Sommelhalder in the leading roles, the series was a huge hit. Speaking of Sommelhalder, you will be surprised to know that even he had to audition twice to get the part of Damon Salvatore. The character of Damon Salvatore did have a long queue of names that had initially auditioned before landing their respective parts. For starters, we have Paul Wesley, Zach Rorick, as well as Michael Trevino, all auditioning for the role before settling down with their characters. Stefan Salvatore, Matt Donovan and Tyler Lockwood. To all those who are still yet to watch The Vampire Diaries, your next television binge is waiting for you on Netflix. Buffy the Vampire Slayer 1997-2003 A recipient of two primetime Emmys, amongst 52 wins and 134 nominations, Joss Whedon's supernatural drama TV series is based on Fran Rubel Kazooie's 1992 American black comedy horror flick, also titled Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The narrative shows Sarah Michelle Gellar essaying the role of Buffy Summers, a vampire slayer chosen by destiny to fight against vampires, demons and other forces of darkness. No matter how much she tries to live a normal high school teenager life, 
she eventually learns to embrace her fate as a slayer or the chosen one, guided and trained by a watcher. As a slayer, she has supernatural abilities to fight evil creatures along with her dedicated circle of friends known as the Scooby Gang. The series not only has a current IMDb rating of 8.2, but also has on display 7 power pack seasons, with 144 episodes for you to enjoy the escapades of Buffy and her gang. The series was a big hit eventually, leading to a multitude of novels, spin-offs, comics, as well as video games. Still haven't been able to be a part of the Buffyverse? Well, no problem. Just head to Hulu and you will thank us later. I'm here for Suki. <sighs> True Blood 2008 to 2014. So we are talking about Alan Ball's fantasy horror drama TV series, one that is based on the Southern Vampire Mysteries, a series of books penned by the best-selling author Charlene Harris. A recipient of one primetime Emmy amongst 38 wins and a total of 158 nominations, you know you just cannot take True Blood lightly. Meet Suki Stackhouse, a telepathic waitress residing in the fictional rural town of Bonton in Louisiana, who is the central character in this series. As fate would have it, Suki's life takes a 180 degree turn when she tastes the forbidden fruit, or in other words, falls in love with a 174 year old vampire, Bill Compton. It's through Bill that she learns about the existence of many terrifying supernatural creatures, and you know that you're in for a roller coaster ride. Bragging seven seasons with 80 exhilarating episodes, True Blood has a current IMDb rating of 7.8, and happens to be HBO's most watched series since David Chase's crime drama series The Sopranos. It's incredibly addictive, with the first five seasons being absolutely flawless. The fact that the storyline is original makes it all the more enticing and sexy. The series also features characters that are not only believable, but also likeable. We are particularly stressing on Anna Paquin, Stephen Moyer, and Rettina Wesley. They are incredible. Jay Severett deserves a round of commendation for his work on the musical score, especially the opening theme. If that doesn't have you hooked, we don't know what else would. If you have plans of binging this one tonight, just head over to Prime Video. Stop it! Preacher 2016 to 2019. Developed by Sam Caitlin, Seth Rogen, and Evan Goldberg, this supernatural action adventure TV series is based on the comic book series also called Preacher, created by writer Garth Ennis and artist Steve Dillon. The storyline is pretty simple. We have a preacher called Jesse Custer, who is in all probability unlike any other preacher that you've come across in your life. Custer, besides being a heavy drinker and a chain smoker, also has the extraordinary power of making anyone do whatever he says. So he embarks on a journey to comprehend his super abilities and find God. Literally. In this journey, he is joined by his volatile, hell-raising girlfriend, Tulip O'Hare, and Princess Cassidy, a vice-loving vampire from Ireland. Preacher has on display four very exciting seasons with 43 episodes. With an IMDb rating of 8 to this day, the series is exceedingly enjoyable. Viewers get to see a mix of everything. There's divine intervention, fallen angels, a guy who has an ass for a face, and no, we're not kidding about that one. The whole idea of God being on some kind of a vacation works in favour of the series here. And it goes without saying that Preacher has every element to keep you thoroughly entertained. True, it doesn't live up to the comics, but hey, it's worth a watch. We highly recommend that you take out some time and stream it on Prime Video. You won't regret it. From Dusk Till Dawn, the series 2014 to 2016. Just in case you're wondering, yes, this horror TV series is based on Robert Rodrigo's 1996 action horror flick also called From Dusk Till Dawn. Developed by Rodriguez, the series elaborates on the stories of the Gecko brothers Seth and Richie, along with the Fuller family and Santonico Pandemonium, spanning across three seasons with a list of 30 episodes. From Dusk Till Dawn adds to the tone of the movie, introducing new characters as well as their origin stories and also going detailed with the snake creature's Mesoamerican mythology. As far as the narrative of the series is concerned, the infamous Gecko Brothers are wanted by the FBI as well as Freddy Gonzalez, a Texas ranger post a bank robbery went awry, leaving behind plenty of people dead. The brothers chance upon the former minister Jacob Fuller and his family, and they end up taking them as hostages by taking control of the Fuller's recreational vehicle. Things take a wild turn when all of them end up confined in a desert bar, one that happens to be run by vampires. 
While many are in favour of the original movie, there are some who believe that it was primarily the series that was way more satisfying. If you are someone who has seen the movie and still wishes to give the series a shot, hear us out. You might need a couple of episodes to get used to it, but then that's about it. Post a few episodes, the series tends to grow on you. Zane Holtz as Richie Gecko was absolutely brilliant. He brought life to his character, giving it so much more depth and dimension. It's also a treat to watch Robert Patrick and Don Johnson. They were both superb. Having said all of that, there's no denying that this series here is still an OTT horror fantasy, one that certainly deserves to be seen. Guessing where to watch? Netflix to the rescue! Blade the Series 2006 Based on the Marvel Comics character and also the film series, the events of Blade the series take place post what happened in the 2004 movie, Blade Trinity. Developed by David S. Goyer, this live-action superhero TV series features 13 electrifying episodes. As for the storyline, Krista Starr is seen returning home after having served in Iraq, but she then learns about the mysterious death of her twin brother. After probing a little further into things, she soon discovers that her brother used to work as some kind of an obligated servant to the vampires, taking care of their dictates, all in the hopes that his master in due course would pay him back with immortality. Krista's investigation leads her to Blade, and then eventually to Marcus Van Syver, the latter being her brother's killer. No points for guessing Marcus gets absolutely hooked to Krista, so much so that he even wishes to transform her into a vampire just like him. Blade manages to inoculate Krista with the same serum that he also uses to keep his vampire instincts in check. Blade also offers her a chance to help him avenge her brother's death and bring down Marcus, along with the House of Cthone. He even discloses that all this while, her brother was simply trying to carry out a sting operation with Blade. The duo ends up teaming up with each other. Those who have seen the series often wonder why there was just a single season. Not only did the trailer look promising, the storyline was gripping enough to have one's attention. It did have potential. Shame it didn't get a second season. <laughs> Legacies 2018 to present. As if being a vampire isn't tricky enough, meet Hope Michelson, a direct descendant of a powerful witch, vampire, and werewolf bloodline. This fantasy drama TV series is a direct spin-off of the originals and in some way also the Vampire Diaries, because of the solitary reason that it has on display characters from both series. The events of Legacies occur two years post the events of the originals, and revolves around the daughter of Klaus and Haley, now a high school student attending the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted. This school is more like a safe haven, one where every supernatural being can learn to control their instincts and abilities. Created by Julie Pleck, this thrilling new drama tells its viewers the story of the next generation of these supernatural beings, through 54 exhilarating episodes spanning across four seasons. Yes, you might find a few episodes dodgy, and even come to think when would the connecting story start, but trust us, you do not have to wait for that. The twists and turns are bound to keep you glued to the series, and suddenly everything will start to make a lot more sense to you. You get to meet interesting characters, and also villains to be more precise, and the whole teen drama tone moves ahead in a direction towards the originals. Of course, it's advised not to compare it with its predecessors, but just in case you felt absolutely gutted when both the previous series ended, we highly recommend that you give Legacies a definite shot. It's right there on Prime Video. Van Helsing 2016-2021 you know you've got to have a certain Helsing if you're talking about vampires. After all, they literally go parallel, and keeping that in mind, Neil Labute came up with a fantasy horror drama television series titled Van Helsing, and gave us 65 episodes to enjoy over a span of five seasons. Based on Zinescope Entertainment's graphic novel series, also called Helsing, the series has Vanessa Van Helsing, a direct descendant of renowned vampire hunter Abraham Van Helsing, waking up from a coma and discovering that she now happens to be in a post-apocalyptic world. It's been three years since the eruption of the volcanic Yellowstone caldera, which has resulted in the world being clouded in a dense layer of ash. This means it's always dark, there's no sunlight which further indicates that vampires who have taken over the world are now capable of roaming around freely. Not a great idea for humans. Anyway, Vanessa soon discovers that she has this very rare blood composition, something that gives her the ability to be able to transform vampires back into humans. 
In short, Vanessa Van Helsing is humanity's last hope. So this also makes her a primary target for the vampires, but hey, that doesn't stop her from trying to save the world and putting mankind back in its rightful place. A recipient of 22 wins and 53 nominations, the series is quite well paced and has a good cast. Agreed that the whole idea of a super-powered female vampire slayer isn't something ingenious, nor is a post-apocalyptic earth overrun by vampires. But in spite of all that, Van Helsing has its own story to tell. We urge you not to miss out on this reimagining of the classic Dracula story. It's right there on Netflix. Immortals 2018 This Turkish web series features Istanbul in a way no one has ever seen before. Speaking of the narrative, it centers around Mia, a human turned vampire who wants to slay the vampire responsible for her transformation. But the vampire responsible, Dimitri, has plans of his own and is on the lookout for a relic, one that will grant him the power of immortality. Time's ticking and Mia has to stop Dimitri before he's able to find what he's searching for. One has to give full credit to the depiction of the city that takes care of the vengeful vibe of the plot. Starring Karem Basin and Elchin Sangu in the leading roles, Immortals has on display 8 interesting episodes and viewers are often seen asking why there's just a single season. Guess that explains that they certainly didn't get enough of the series. Wondering where to watch? Head right away to Netflix. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks.